actually a lot of people have asked me um, why chemistry and um, I have to say that I, I loved it from my first exposure. Um, I think I was a, a kind of a why, why, why child. I know all children go through that kind of why, why stage, but, um, but that stayed with me a long time. And um, what I really found fascinating about chemistry was that um, you learn about things that you, you can't see um, at a molecular level, but it explains the things that you can actually see in the world, like why some things are solids or, or gases. And I just found that absolutely fascinating. Um, it was you know, rather like magic. I started to study chemistry as a standalone subject at secondary school, um, and I had a wonderful chemistry teacher, Mr. Salmon, um, and it was him who actually told me that the reason why there is life on Earth is because of hydrogen bonding of water. Um, so as soon as he told me that, I, I was really hooked. And I did a PhD in synthetic organic chemistry. Um, and with a case award, I was very focused on a career in industry after my PhD. And I was thinking very much about the pharmaceutical industry or the agrochemical industry. Um, but actually, as I, as I studied more, I, I recognized that I actually wanted to work in an industry where I would be able to apply the chemistry and see the, the products that I worked on uh, actually be in the market relatively quickly. Um, so I actually chose to, uh, to work for Procter & Gamble. At some point in your career, there's very often an opportunity to, to live and work abroad. Um, and actually, that's what happened to me after working for two years um, at Newcastle. Uh, the company said, would you like to go to... Um, to Germany for just a couple of years um, and so you know at that stage as, as a young person I thought well this is a you know a little adventure uh, to go and live for a couple of years in um, Germany so I, um, I jumped at the chance to go um, and as it's turned out I've then spent you know the next uh, 23 years out of the UK um, working in Germany and in Brussels. I'm currently responsible for all of the packaging across the company um, so it's really a you know huge range from very simple polyethylene bags that you would find around Pampers, really right through to prestige fine fragrance, Dolce & Gabbana and, um, and Gucci. I would say if you ever get the chance to, um, to live and work abroad, I would, um, I would um, jump for it. I would take it with both hands. Um, you just learn so much um, when you're living in a different culture. You're, ex you're exposed to people who um, think differently. Um, and so first, I think it's just very enjoyable. Um, but second, it helps you grow, um, just because you have these different experiences. So as I think about students joining Procter & Gamble, I think the, the first thing to know is that Procter & Gamble is a promote from within company. So um, we don't bring people into the company mid-career. So that means that um, you know, everybody that's in the company today all started at entry level um, and we actually have um, just two entry levels um, depending on academic qualifications um, and then people move up uh, different levels you know as, as they spend their career in the, in the company. A large majority of the people that we hire um, come from our internship programs um, so we would call that mutual trial um, and it works really well because um, we give the students real projects to work on, actual business projects um, and so we get to see them um, working on, on a real project and it's equally helpful for the students because they actually um, are able to experience what it would be like if they would actually decide to come and join us at Procter & Gamble. 